You gotta see my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it.
any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. You're defective, Daniel. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you. And everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Ever. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. I don't think they'd listen to me. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. I've spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide.
which word allowed me here. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I think we can go now. You little prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They could even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. Instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Oh, Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. 
stayed inside most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth, you got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. 
There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him.
I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the bathroom. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something.
was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You could always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me?
They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... Stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please, please stop. All right. All right, everything is going to be okay. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. 
I was scared. So I hid. RA-9. Who is RA-9? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. You're not gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. 